The following is intended for mature audiences only. Discretion is advised. Tim? Yes, sir. My left eye's twitching. You're gonna be okay. My left eye is twitching, bruh. You're gonna get through this just fine. It's the end of 2023. And dude, by the way, I noticed the network's soaking on this 80s crack thing with my dad. I noticed yeah, they that. have been. <laughs> they have been pushing that one. I noticed that. The results speak for themselves, boo. It's one of our most liked videos. <laughs> Couple of them, like, damn, y'all really like my poverty stricken in infant life. I mean, look, when you talk about it so, so entertainingly, it's hard not to listen. It's not. It's hard not what to appreciate. What did the one person man. say? He's like, man, because of him, parents and fathers and kids don't ever get along with the. <laughs> you, you grew up in a house with a crackhead. <laughs> All right. Well, dude, you want to do this a favor, boo? No, you kiss into it, dude. Like I said, my eyes twitch. All right. Well, we're about to get into <laughs> some reactions, uh, some slight reviews. We're going to get into an overall year review here. Overall, welcome to the show. Kick the beat, Josh. Mm -hmm. Got <laughs> uh. Uh. Oh God, it's going down a whole season with these clowns. Uh, I'm not going to make it to season two because I'm probably going to hang myself in front of you. <laughs> well, hopefully that doesn't happen. Welcome to the show. It's been a year. We survived. No one's kicked in the dough on any of us and shot us up. No one, no one's doxed us. Surprisingly, I haven't been canceled. I haven't killed myself. I think, I think editing for me not being canceled probably. Thank I mean, you, Josh. Thank you so you're much, welcome. Josh. Shout out Big yeah. Comedy Network. While you're visiting us, hit a, hit that like, hit that subscribe, comment some bullshit on our page. This episode is. A fun one, man. Like, we've seen a lot this year in the theaters and games and shows. In life. In life. Ooh, it's been rough. There's no way to describe it. So I, 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 I want to bring something up real quick. I want to bring something I up. I want to bring quick. something I'm up. Ralph, how's your year been without giving us a f***ing haiku? Hey, shit, bro. You f***ing how my life is. <laughs> give, in, in a nutshell, give us, give us your nutshell. year in a wrap. Got a new relationship. I haven't seen my son in f***ing months. Um, yep, here goes the life. haiku. Uh, here goes no the haiku. haiku. No haiku. Do you, do no you haiku? even know what haiku means? No. Can you spell haiku for me, please? No, nah, I can't spell <laughs> it. Shit. Coming that, in with spice is, today. First off, Roth, it's not obvious to our audience that I'm f***ing illiterate. You're not teaching them anything new. I can't teach them anything. I didn't even have the audience in mind. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> this is not all that well disclosed that Boo... Like, uh, this is like Boo... Picking you for our spelling bee for the Olympic team. Shut the fuck up, Rob. <laughs> stupid. I know, can you spell stupid? Okay, then. Continue. I only use words so, like it's all spell, right. Bro. You got in a new relationship. You know, stuff's going on with your kid. What else? New job. Things are great, man. Life's good right now. Hell yeah. New fifth job of the year. Keep that shit going. No, no, no. Same job. It's a, it's a regular life sandwich. You got some You got some bullshit sandwich with some good shit. What about you, boo? Flipping burgers, that's it. How's you? <laughs> Mine's been fun. I feel guilty talking about mine after hearing those two, so I don't think I'm going to do it. Um, hey, I ain't got the No, no, no. You got to brag a little bit. You got to brag a little I bit. I don't have the talent to doing MS cons and to drawing and all that shit. You You're earned good, it. Bro. You earned it, Tim. Talk about it. You, you earned it. I mean, dick. He don't need you licking his balls. He's already got enough. Sorry, dick. boo, that your Damn, life bro. wasn't as, as I mean, look, we've, we've, no one I feel said like my life was bad. Shut up, dude. Oh, I my didn't say God. That it, was bad. it wasn't as God. good as his was. <laughs> okay. I mean, we've talked about it. Like, we've covered everything that, that I've, that we've, you know, MGS Con was tight. Uh, I just did LA Comic Con. I had an art booth there. There, that was sick as hell too. It's been really cool, man. And then we we launched the show this year, man. We're, we're like no one's no one's mentioned that out of you two. We brought the show up and running. This isn't a with show. With a network. This is a reality. You know? This isn't a show. This is just <laughs> me. Not everyone else is doing it like we are. Not not a we whole. We ain't lot of doing us. it like no one else. We ain't doing shit. We could always go higher. We babies. It's a process. It's a process. Lady Ballers, movie of the year. 
I forget what it's about exactly. What's what's the synopsis? You trying to get me canceled? You brought it up. What are you, you're trying to get yourself canceled, bro. I'm not just seen asking it, Ralph? regular have you ass seen questions. It, Ralph? No, I have it. I have it. I mean, I listen. Let, okay, okay, let's bro. not even, let's not go any further. For example, let's just let's just example what we have on the table. All right. You brought up <laughs> Lady Ballers with a big ass smile. Is it like I the reverse? It was funny. Is it reverse Joanna Man? So yeah. What's the synopsis? No, it, it is We're Joanna here Man, bro. Oh, it is. It yeah, is yeah, you're right. So it's a whole team dudes. of Joanna Man. You gotta watch it, Ralph. It's a bunch of dudes who decide to. Since it's okay for men to join women's sports, they all are five-star athletes at the, <laughs> and, and then join the basketball. I, I know every sport, wrestling, one dude choke slams a chick. It's f***ed up, bro. <laughs> the dude with the beard is really getting into it. He's like, no, coach, I did. I'm the first day 52 of being a woman. He's like, oh, my God, I'm starting to menstruate. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm like, this is crazy, bro. His uterus hurts. His uterus. <laughs> no, nah, but okay. it, it's pretty f- good, so, dude. It's... If you have the means, <laughs> go check this movie out again. <laughs> that right there was the number one trigger movie of the year by far, guys. Oh, and what so. what a time to release it. Like, you know, it's just, just in time for the holidays. So yeah. just in time to watch it and start a fight at the at the. F- at Christmas the dinner table. table. Now, we're going to talk about something that Tim's going to trip out on that I've, over the last six months, took a 360 on and I'm starting to like a whole lot more. And you could thank this. You could thank the TV show. Ooh, I know where this is going. Monarch. Monarch. Legends of Monsters. Legacy of Monsters is... Is dope. Tight. If you don't want to hear this, Rob, spoilers and Josh. Yeah, the the, the drama in this show is is so far really... It's captivating enough to keep going. Like you're not sitting there bored, really. Like and and they they they're pacing it well enough right now to where if you think you're about to get bored of one thing, they switch it up just enough and at the right moment to 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 keep you invested. Like I like how they go back and forth between that whole fucking flipping time shit is pretty fucking dope That's between cool. the 1950s and then. Yeah. But my wife, uh, I like Kurt Russell's character. I like him on both ends of the timeline too, like, dude. Yeah, that's what you was doing, huh, young U.S. agent? Okay, that, and it's tight that his son is playing him, like like his younger self, which is really f-ing cool. Like, wait, that's, that's his that's his that's his actual son playing him. Oh no, shit! I didn't I, know that. But yeah, the, I know you know what I know him as. Yeah, exactly. But I was U.S. I was telling agent. You that, that's U.S. agent. Yeah, but that's that's uh, that's Wyatt Russell. That's actually that's Kurt Russell's son. That's beautiful. Damn, he beautiful. Looks just like them. God damn. There's a shot they do later. They do this father son thing. They like they have like this image cast over him. It's I saw like, that. It's so it's where like, they kind of phase it over him and it looks just like him. And that's what I love about this show is that it gets you hyped for the people outside of the monsters too. Like like I'm I, I give a shit about Kurt Russell's character and then like you know the past stuff. Yeah. I actually care about like the the family drama. Like that's keeping me invested. I told too. you what I like about it is that okay, thank you for giving me the first human contact with Godzilla. The the bikini atoll testing like where they, yeah, they, they thank you for giving us. You see how small he is at that small point too. Small at that time. Bro, that's wild. That was so small. You're not getting too much Godzilla, and you're not giving me too much monsters. You're just giving me enough monster. And then why are they making Monarch look like some co mean, evil ass Nazi, bro? See, that's, that's the crazy like. thing is that like that's what Monarch's original vibe was sort of kind of supposed to be with that first movie, and they didn't have enough room to really like divulge in it because they focused on like the monster fights and everything, right? So with this show. They really get to go more in on like, yo, this is what Monarch really is. Fucking the government was up to trying to keep all this shit on the low. All of that stuff is pretty cool. Now, yeah. Speaking of monsters, let's talk about that trailer, Tim. They made Godzilla Goku. They made Godzilla Goku. They gave my boy Khan a f- gauntlet. They that the Thanos snapping, bro. Man, have you seen the trailer, Ralph? Nah. For Godzilla and Kong New Empire? I haven't. Me and Tim have been on the kid, the villain for at least a year now. Me and Tim have been on it once they dropped mm. the leaks on it. Oh, the orangutan dude? Yeah. Scar is this motherfucking bro. Scar King. Is that his name, Scar? Scar King is his name, and he's like the Nazis of the, mo- of the monster verse, bro. the spine whip. That shit is nice. He's a Hitler of the 
fucking mind of the, of the universe, bro. He's apparently the most intelligent one. He's been keeping the other ape race like deep, 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 deep in Hollow deep Earth. Deep in Hollow Earth. That's why Kong's people, and you know the red hand you saw in Skull Island? Right. That's, that's Scar King. That was that's that, that Scar wasn't King. Kong. That wasn't Kong. That's Scar King. And apparently he's been taking all of the monsters and all of them and trying to put them under one roof that he rules. And and Kong and Godzilla and these other monsters who are babies at the time are now being born and he's being awoken to take over. Bro, it's so crazy. The The plot of Godzilla and Kong is slowly becoming like this one Bollywood movie I used to watch where it was legit. Yeah, like this overlord just took like these two brothers families and then they grew up and came back to kick ass apparently the ice age is because of scar king because he has the original titan that is that that he controls that can control the and ice and they caused the and ice age so boo you've seen king of the monsters mm -hmm. with Ghidorah and rodan and and mothra and shit right so i'm wondering if they're gonna go more into you you remember that spot they took us to like the godzilla atlantis shit where that they ended up nuking right right to, right i'm hoping we get to see or get some kind of explanation on that shit dude no they already said they already said because the stairs look like the the, the in the trailer the chick is yeah walking yeah you up see you stairs, see what's her name walking upstairs, and that yeah. looks like the same shit it's for the same godzilla yeah. yep and everything for godzilla i i'm i'm fascinated with the able to use a whip bro. so godzilla the 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 skull island godzilla versus uh, kong was all basically well thought out then right it was all written out for for this next movie scar king was only created for this movie he's a new oh, character okay. in the universe and there's nothing no lore so what they're doing is what they're doing is the people they it was kong's family back in the day you can assume they never gave to that handprint but now all the red hands you saw are scar kings they would throw in elements to see what folks would respond to and see what they could kind of like sort of set up and get away with and like really like explode on like you there's definitely parts about this universe that has been yeah preordained and they've been like you know plotting exactly how to real for example for example this movie was originally called son of kong because yep. like you know that you know that little ape you see ends up adopting him by mm -hmm. the end presumably diddy kong right no that's no no yeah, that's super nintendo like that. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know if you saw the memes dude i don't know if you saw the memes but they like they they, they they'll have like clips bro of that, they put that a hat ape. on that the the, the 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 some of the captions are like voiced by chris pratt that shit had me dying <laughs> bro it looked like diddy kong bro you put a little hat on him have him chewing banana don't want to be racist <laughs> I don't know if you're racist, you know, but like I already told Kim, I sent Tim a f video about how racist motherfucker some shit is. No, no, no. What well, what was going on was I was re-watching Skull, uh, Skull Island. I was re-watching Kong Skull Island. And it's right at the part where he's fighting the big skull crawler and he's tied to the goddamn naval boat getting we'll beat on by a, by a white skull monster. I'm like, oh God, then I we'll had to change. call him. I'd be like, I hate you boo <laughs> no but then remember when i sent you the video of the dude who broke down how racist godzilla versus kong was and what's the first thing he tell you you put a on a boat and change <laughs> and in the water and you drug him too and you drug him and you know he can't swim <laughs> and then and then you airlift his ass like he can't <laughs> so... Yeah, that bro. whole thing was hilarious. But now my boy's got the gauntlet. Now he's nigga. kicking ass, dude. Now he's free Roman. My thing is this: since Mothra and Godzilla had a thing going on, this Kong, you gotta watch Kong. Kong might slip up in there and take your Kong, bitch. Kong Godzilla. might get up in that Mothra. <laughs> take your bitch. <laughs> you watch out. I thought Kong liked blonde chicks. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, come on. You don't see the yellow on Mothra, yeah, yeah. dude? Oh, yeah, Mothra's yeah. as blonde as it gets for f***ing kaiju, dude. Tell like, you, bro, I guess so. Look around and bring her over one day, and you're like, this is my boy, Kong. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Yeah, Godzilla got to watch out, you know. Take that chick It ain't always bros quick. before hoes, you know, in these, in these kaiju parts. <laughs> dude, the amount of people reacting to that end clip of them running together. Oh, no, they... As if Godzilla's never ran before in his, in, in his entire 70 years of film history. <laughs> they rebroke it down. They said the evolution when he evolved, 
he evolved a skinnier legs for more of a yeah. bulkier chest and everything. That's why he's able to run faster. He was already running in the in the other movies. What are you talking about? Yeah, what's he doing running? It's a new evolution. They could literally had us pull out shit wings in a minute. You can't say nothing. And that's the thing. The whole point of these MonsterVerse movies is that they keep getting more ridiculous. They're getting to the point where it's like the 60s movies. And that's, I'm f- here for it, dude. Like I'm down I'm, for that if shit. you're gonna, I saw a really great tweet uh, by her. I think her name was Daikaiju Darling. Like she's she's going. If you're gonna make the MonsterVerse weird and dumb, go for it. Where are the robot chickens? Where's Gigan? Where's Hedera? Right now, it's a lizard and a monkey fighting another lizard and a monkey. Like I thought, the complaint from a Godzilla fan was like that's that's pretty extreme. But she's got a point in the sense of like who who. Who's going to complain about Godzilla running when the entire point of these movies, if you can't tell, is that they keep getting wackier? And it's not wacky, it's logic, but you need is talking to yeah. a titan, bro. Exactly. Oh, yeah, They're doing sign right. language that's to a great, giant bro. ass, like, And you understand, on. he's signing back. That's the best part. He's signing it he's back. He's signing back. Godzilla's out here doing, like, They're emotional. Staying home, bro. Yeah. Home. And then the Asian girl's like, home bitch you want to go home bitch it's <laughs> and right he, there and he straight runs he knew exactly what that meant and then he did cardiac arrest on a goddamn gorilla titan he <laughs> brought him back to life got an axe bro that he's using as like a grapple he's using as like a multi-tool you can't well, here's where you up it up then powers up the axe he comprehends that it takes power ups like a yeah video game. he's out there using it as a flashlight in the trailer dude like yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. thor thor had no idea what he was gonna do with that shit dude so yeah, i dude. wonder who made the gauntlet for him was it monarch you think monarch made the gauntlet for him i think yeah because because it's that same it's the same two girls from yeah from, from monarch yeah. yeah so i think they made the gauntlet for him and I, but I wonder what it's for. So I wonder what it's the actual like, gauntlet, like, like, like Thanos and shit. Yeah, he guys a giant ass like yellow. You see a giant ass gauntlet on his hand pop up a monkey hand, and it's like a modular gauntlet too. And it's it's a not modular. just like like it's like it's moving around and shit. Yeah, like, bro, and it goes all the way to mid forearm, mid forearm. It goes all the bro. way up to here. Oh shit! What did he lose his hand or some shit or what the? <laughs> no, that's the thing. Well, I don't. We, I don't know what it's for yet. They're saying in the first battle with Scar King, he gets his arm broken. Ooh. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Like that would make that would in make more sense. In the first battle, he gets his mother cat pill back. He gets bodied, and, and so think about how fast they have to make that thing. Did they even <laughs> prep for the the event of his appendages breaking? Like, no, nah, it's, like it it's like Robocop. It's like Robocop. Remember when they had all that prototype shit? <laughs> just ready to go no because keep in mind they went like this come on after godzilla versus kong won and the mega godzilla and how kong was working with godzilla and he was actually fighting godzilla against godzilla at one point holding his own that at one point i'm pretty sure monarch with a paycheck if you're watching the mother tv show they have a blank check from the u.s government to do whatever yeah. they want so it's not hard for them to show footage and listen here this big hairy son of a bitch stood for us we need to get him some shit at this moment we need to get him geared up bro for the next yeah, one bro <laughs> just in case he's the we rainy gotta day have guy. him ready rainy day guy man rainy day guy it's right there f- thanos the yeah. only thing we ain't got is jewels for this to start my boy already <laughs> went ko ken and king of the monsters he went Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan God, and now he's like f- Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan this movie with the pink. It's Super Saiyan Rose. Yeah, it's it's Goku Black, right? Yeah, it's Goku, Goku Black. Goku Black, Super Saiyan Rose. I'll give him that. After Super Saiyan Rose, you're getting into God mode, God tier. Then you're getting into f- uh, instant. <laughs> yeah, like what else is he going to do? Is Ultra he- Instinct. Oh, honestly, Ultra like, okay, Instinct. Once he... Once he gets to the one where he's doing this shit, where he's dodging the It's either he's glowing all green or all white. That's 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 the next step, right? Like it's either all green or all once white. Once to know, once he starts dodging punches like he's Goku <laughs> and Ultra <laughs> Instinct. Yeah. <laughs> once he's once he's dodging 
beams, like and doing like twirls. He's a matrix. <laughs> what's, what's, what's he does a twirl and then and then he fixes himself after the twirl. He's like and he does a beat. Right Once he starts doing that Goku shot, <laughs> <laughs> like anime. <laughs> Speaking of atomic breaths, dude, I've seen Godzilla minus one like three times now. It is. I, I'm. I, I swear to God, Boo the most devastating atomic breath i've seen godzilla dish out i'll wait for it not because i don't want to it's just my money right now yeah i get you I I, feel no that. no 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 not even money i only want to go to the, the theater to see deadpool 3 aquaman 2 i mean bro this 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 one's breaking record. and kong versus godzilla too. I feel that. I feel that. I'm saying minus one is breaking records. If you got a chance. I know, but minus one can't break them blunts I'm trying to smoke while watching it at the theater. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to do it with the other ones either. Yeah, but I, those ones, I'll just pop an edible there. Godzilla's one of... Listen here, Tim. If you're going to understand my premise, every episode of, of the of this TV show I'm watching it requires at least a blunt to a blunt. Oh, of course. I'm saying pop an edible for minus one if you get the chance. And But, but you know... Speaking of I edibles, you're gonna I'm make on some shit. You need to eat these rosins. Ooh. Oh, I I was able to tell earlier. You were on... <laughs> you were slurring all over the place like when we were starting. What are they? Gummies or what? Yeah, are they gummies? Are they chocolates? What are they? Oh, it's the syringe. What it is is it's literally... It's, it's liquid candy. You know the weed taste you taste in gummies. You know how they say a hundred milligrams in this pack, ten milligrams. Yeah, you're just gummy. it's it's the it's the concentrate that you're getting. It's the actual shit because I can't eat that gummy shit getting in my f- teeth, and it's only a hundred milligrams in a pack of gummies. So I gotta eat a bunch of them nasty ass gummy bears, bro. So my boy who works at the store was like, "You you want the cheat code?" I'm like, "What's the cheat code?" He's like. I take 100 milligrams gummy and I'll put 300 milligrams of this hash rosin on it and eat it. Shit. I'm like, ooh, I like that. And I took it one day when I was sitting up here and I put it under the tongue. That shit hit me in five minutes and just kept coming in waves harder and harder and harder and harder and harder. <laughs> I was like, ooh. It's like I a like couch it. lock right there. Oh, no, I start cleaning up. So, so I don't know, like, I got to thank past me for this. Like, you know, you, you go to dispensary, sometimes you go to a new spot, they'll, they'll hook it up with like some free grams and shit like that. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm cleaning my shit up to, to record today. Literally out of nowhere, I find, I find two, two baggies fresh and open. And I can't for the life of me remember where, like how I got them from. And when you don't remember where it's from, it feels free. You see how old he is baggies. That said baggies. No, like the little the little aluminum packets or whatever. I don't what are, whatever you call them. I don't call them I don't call them anything. So I'm just like I just I get containers. Came, but these weren't hey, even Tim, yeah. The, Tim for tomorrow, bro. If you're not busy, assholes. My point Ross is, got is that, that they, cow hay over there. He brought out the baggie. Like, like that's what I'm saying. It's a baggie. Like, it's a baggie. He, got he brought out the baggie. The space bag, but it's a baggie. He got mowed in an L's. But you don't say bag. Ross's not sitting there. Hey, boo. He, he's going to hand me some of that baggie. When's that the last time you heard me ask anybody for baggies? I'm just like, literally, just, I just never this guy, me, like, when trying they find to. Weed. Like, I found two baggies of weed. Well, I found two baggies of weed. Maybe what are you going to do? I'm wrong. Like... If you, I don't know. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm wrong. All right, guys. Let's talk <laughs> about some other things. Shout out to NBA Young Boy. Hey, I don't care what Joe Button says. Love your music. Hey. <laughs> Who? <laughs> listen. Who really cares what Joe Budden says, though? <laughs> no, Joe Budden, bro. I'm gonna just tell you like this. There's a couple. Joe Budden better not go to a new uh, a, a music award <laughs> show because there's some <laughs> that might follow him to the bathroom. <laughs> Shout out to Adam Twenty Two at No Jump. You moved up this oh, year. Hey, made some progress with that movement, did he not? Shout out to Surviving Puff Daddy. To, Hey. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> bro! That pub daddy. If anybody's had a rough year, told you he's more relevant than it seems, huh? They're still building the case for him and Tupac, bro. Yep. But there's a documentary that came out eight years ago. That who's for Tupac's murder was brought in as a suspicion for killing Biggie. Biggie got seen being shot up in an Impala, a green Impala, right? Right. The who worked with Puffy and all that shit and was part of Puffy's entourage drew a green Impala in LA. Now listen, they brought him in to interview him on mother 
reasonable suspicion of killing motherfuckers. He Biggie. was already he was spilling his he was spilling the beans back then. Yeah, about Biggie. He was about to say he's like, I didn't kill Biggie, but I know who killed Tupac. So then he told them, if I don't get caught up, if I don't get arrested for this shit, I'll tell you who killed Tupac. And he Man. explained, he explained and he knew the was in the car. He was in the car when Tupac got killed. Now, that shit, that interview got put away, put on a shelf, and forgot. And you want to know why? of Doom's rap snitches. Yeah, <laughs> you want to know? Yeah, you want to know why that interview uh, got put on the shelf? Because the only reason that the LAPD did that investigation was to get themselves out of a pickle because Biggie's mom claimed it was corruption in the LAPD that got her son killed. So when they found out it was Keefe D and them didn't have nothing to do with it and found out that it was uh, some other n- it exonerated all them. So years passed. This n- Keefe D get on Vlad TV talking about... Our- I was in the car with Tupac. The nigga killed Tupac. I passed him a gun. And I did it going on a bunch of interview rants talking about it. And then that's when the cops say, you know, we're going to plug you for it. Because what you said in L.A. don't hold weight in Vegas. And you know where this lived? He moved out of L.A. to move to Vegas. Ouch. So shout out to Puff Daddy. He going through it. Um, <laughs> I'd give a shout out to Willie Nelson for his 90th, for celebrating his 90th and still rocking. Rest in peace, Norman Lear, for giving us some good, good, good TV, man. Alan Arkin. Alan Arkin died, yeah. that That's, yeah, rest in peace, Alan Arkin. Talented actor. Oh, shout out to Ozzy Osbourne on his uh, retirement. Now that's is still living. Shout out to Snoop for his attempt at a sober break. Shout out to Will Smith and that entanglement of oh, shit that's going on over there. That nice. is a yeah. train wreck. A bunch of crazy shit happened this year to pop culture in general and to us. You know, Shout out to the Cowboys lives. getting dump trucked on again another year. Getting f***ed <laughs> in the ass by them <laughs> in Frisco. It's It's been a hell of a year, but we Straight hope up that- San Francisco treat, and I don't mean rice and so <laughs> he means Folsom. It's been a hell of a year, but regardless, we hope you ain't that closing you will... me out. I still got shit to say. Jesus Christ! Well, then hurry up. All right, you can go, Tim. This is the end of a, this is the end of the last season, the last episode of the season, man. Enjoy it. Yeah, I got a lot of shit to wrap up on. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Hurry up then! <laughs> like Tim, like vinyl, dude. Vinyl's the shit now. Shut the f up, bro. Go, bro. What do you got to say, bro? Wow. Blacks and UF- so UFOs. I saw that. That's, shit. A, that's a show. That's a document series where the cover features aliens with afros. Aliens <laughs> got afros. What else is on the list, boo? Why are you rushing me? You can go. I'm not Russian. I'm just asking. No, we know you're not Russian. You're brown. I'm reaching that point over here. Shout out to Invincible. I need to catch up on that. How was that season, actually? Yeah, you're right. Great. Yo, oh, now you want to be. Yeah, I'm right. I can't agree with you either, asshole. No, you are. Fuck I you. love you. I love you. God damn it. I love it. you. I love you. Now, shout out to Baki being a straight train <laughs> wreck. Man. But you know what? Record of Ragnarok. You totally made fun of me and talked down to Ragnarok earlier. Yes or no, Tim? He's been since praising Ray record of rock and rock for a while now so that's yeah but you can talk now. i don't like it it's garbage rough it's not like you can't be turned around about godzilla i didn't get turned around i don't hate no i hate godzilla the character i never hated the universe and you've been turned around on it I, yeah i'll never be turned around to liking godzilla if you want to see godzilla die boo go watch minus one when it comes out mad blunts i'll even replay every time he dies how can you not like Godzilla, man? Godzilla's so cool. He's boring. No, he isn't. He's a big, giant, bright-up lizard. Boring when it comes to the mystique of in character. He's boring, bro. When I got so much more shit I could look forward to when it comes to Kong and his universe in that same world or all the other monsters in that other world. Godzilla come out the ocean, big dick and Oh, and then I spit my mother. Goddamn but dip him on and you. Kong have the same origin at this point. They both come from the hollow f- earth. Bro, my n- not sitting there spitting dip on everybody every time he gets pissed. <laughs> Goddamn hick shit. Spitting, Actually, yes, he spitting, did. That's what he did on Skull atomic, Island. Spitting atomic dip on Bro, everybody when he gets Kong mad. was out there just eating an octopus for no reason. 
That was hungry. He was hungry. He was hungry. Exactly. Oh, so Godzilla's hungry, destroying everybody? Godzilla's not out there destroying shit for no reason either. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen him eat God, either. Because Godzilla doesn't eat. Okay. He eats out of here. He, he eats radiation. <laughs> oh, my God. You're just making my point even more. Because then what's your point of the argument of him eating the squid thing, you ass? Godzilla and Kong And don't do the say same it without giving me a haiku. Godzilla I've learned and how Kong to spell it since then. I've Googled thing. it. They thrash down fools who are causing ruckus in their territory. What do you think Kong was doing on Skull Island, though? Tim, Tim. Godzilla. Josh kicked the beat. Oh, he yeah. Mine. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3, Dave the Diver, Starfield, Tears of the Kingdom, Hogwarts Legacy. AI has been introduced in the commercial industry. Chat GPT boom, Mario movie, Rihanna performed the Super Bowl pregnant, Barbenheimer. Spider Man 2 got robbed. Twitter turned to X, the Titan sub imploded. Uh, there were bomb cyclones in California. Jeremy Renner got run over by his side. Teacher strikes, Sag after strike, Israel versus Hamas. F 35 got lost.